What you doing? I am making blueberry empanadas. How do we do this? Well, you take an empanada, a dough thing, pie, and you put a little bit of egg. Well, I'll show you. Why don't I show you? Okay. And you put some egg all around just the edges. So when you seal it up, it'll stick together nicely. Next, you take your filling, which in our case is blueberry pie. Kroger brand. Kroger Nothing brand. Nothing but the best for us. That's right. And the trick is not to fill it too much, which is the hardest part, I think. Come on, blueberry. There you go. And then you fold it over. And seal it like a pie. And you put it on your tin because it will be going in the oven to bake. There gotta be a better way than this. Very nice. So, if you guys are wanting to try this at home, this is what you look for. They got them at Kroger, they got them at various different, um, uh, you know, places to get food. Anyways, all they are is, uh, Para empanadas. Alright, so, anyways, empanadas. They're going to be in the fro frozen section. You get them and uh, you put them in your crisper and they will thaw out over two or three days and they'll keep in there for a very long time. So, and then as far as cooking them, um, honestly, I don't exactly know what the temperature and stuff is going to be for cooking them so I usually uh, with these right here I'm actually going to actually cook them on the grill uh, because I'm going to be using the grill and um, might as well give it a shot so but uh, all you got to do is cook them until they turn golden brown on the outside the insides already cooked so it's all good so I'm going to do probably about 300 degrees and put them in there and keep a good eye on them Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Educating the Modern. On this time, you're going to see what uh, me and Irene cook up for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, it's just me and her. The kids are in Mississippi with their mother. Divorce is a beautiful thing. <laughs> and um, so we're going to cook a couple uh, Cornish hens, little game hens. And uh, we're going to cook the, the bulk of Thanksgiving dinner right here on, the, on my grill. So here's the rotisserie. It's a little pork dillios. Okay, let's get some fresh rosemary. <clears throat> so we got the rosemary. We got a clove of garlic. Now, um, if you guys hate peeling garlic like I do, nice neat little trick here. Throw it in one of your mason jars. And it comes out Bear is a baby's bottom. Just use your knife. Alright, these are, there's a reason these are called chef's knives. Alright, you got your basic little blade right there. It's a nice rolling uh, edge. That's because chefs like to use them for things like this. They rock back and forth really nicely. Now I am going to add some salt and pepper right to the mix right here. Okay, so here are the birds. Now, next up, some extra virgin olive oil. 
on the Pretty Little Birds. Rub it all in. Get it all on. Alright, now the, the olive oil will make the skin sort of fry up a bit. But more than that, by having it oiled up nicely, right, it makes our seasonings stick to it much better. So now we take our garlic and our rosemary. Rub it all in. Now we're gonna let them sit for about an hour. The reason we let it sit is because it really makes those uh, seasonings soak in really nice. All right, now we're gonna make some stovetop stuffing. Now our stovetop is done. Now it's still hot, and I want it this way because I feel like uh, if I put it in hot, it'll really help to bake from the inside out. So we're literally going to shove it up in these birds. Okay, so I got them on the spit. Ta-da. And about every five minutes or so, I'm turning it. All right, I just use little things to allow it to balance on and stuff like that so I can just rotate it as I feel. Um, I was going to baste this, you know, with some butter, right? But I do not recommend doing that because if you guys grill, you know it's hard to keep down the flash burning right of the grease and stuff that's falling down so as soon as I put the first la layer of butter on there it fell down and <laughs> the butter was burning and that creates a charred uh, uh, burn on the outside that's just not good so I would not recommend basting it once you've already started it but anyways it's gonna cook I've got it uh, somewhere between 375 and 425 and I'm gonna cook it for about 30 35 minutes maybe even 40 I'll use my own judgments on that. Uh, what you want to do with chicken is you want to cut it, and as long as the juices run clear, you're good to go. All right. Uh, so, um, the one other thing, yeah, the empanadas. Make sure that you poke some holes in the tops, right? Because if not, it swells up. And, you know, it's just like a pie. You want to poke holes in the in the top with a knife or a fork. Give it room to breathe. Oh. My cat just killed a ground squirrel. That's fun, right? Anyways, um, so, <laughs> I lost track of thought. She's carrying it around in her mouth. Pretty awesome. She's badass. Maybe I can get a picture of her. Oh, well, it ain't dead, it's hopping around. Get it, Finn. Cats are crazy and cruel. They like to play with them. <laughs> Anyways. Looks pretty good, eh? Okay. We have got two beautiful birds. I ended up cooking them for about 45 minutes. Uh, the temperature ranged everywhere between 375 and 425. So 45 minutes at say 400 degrees was what I did. I rotated them about every five minutes. Now while you guys weren't looking, um, I cooked some just canned corn and some uh, green beans. So we'll put them on the plate and while we're eating our main course, the empanadas will be cooking. We are going to throw these onto the grill, onto the uh, top rack of the grill actually because I think that on the bottom the, this would get too hot and it would burn the empanadas on the bottom. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> okay, so whether you are enjoying Thanksgiving uh, like we are, or you're wanting a little nice romantic dinner for two, this looks like it's pretty damn good. So, we're gonna chow down, and I'll get back to the empanadas whenever we have dessert a little bit later. So, but if I forget, and I don't say it later on, for now, you're welcome.
And for those of you that hung in there till the end to see the empanadas, ta-da! Before we get started on this, I want to say that those Cornish hens were probably the best Thanksgiving meal that I've ever had. Not because they tasted the best, but because it was fun. So, yeah, you should do that. Um, but anyways, these are the empanadas, all cooked up. They cooked at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Um, as you can probably see here, a lot of them spilled open and spilled out their guts. But that's what happens. Uh, maybe I probably should have cooked them at a little bit lower temperature for a little bit longer. But uh, whatever. Either way, I'm still left with a good, easy, fun little pie. That is literally a little blueberry pie.